Hey guys, so today we're checking out the Speed Form throttle controller fitting all 2007 to 2018 JK Wranglers. So if you're looking for one of the easiest and most affordable ways to gain a little bit of extra throttle response in your JK, this option by Speedform is going to be a great choice to take a look into. So this is going to be great for those JK owners that have added larger wheels and tires or maybe some extra armor and they're feeling a little bit sluggish off the line and they're looking to gain a little bit of that throttle response back. Now essentially what's going on with your throttle body and with your throttle response is that when your foot hits the pedal, it sends a certain amount of voltage to your ECU, which your ECU or your computer tells your electronic throttle body to open according to that voltage. Now in that process, there is a little bit of a delay and what this is going to do is modify that delay in order to increase your throttle response or increase that voltage. Now this option by Speedform is gonna do just that with four preset modes. Now you're gonna have an economy mode, a comfort mode, which balances economy and sport, a sport mode, as well as a race mode that drastically increases your throttle response. Now within each of those modes, you're gonna be able to adjust them up and down, perfect for the Jeep owner who's really looking to fine tune their throttle response. Now what I really like about this setup is that first of all, it is very easy to install and it's very user friendly. This is gonna come with a little device that's gonna have three tactile buttons, one to change the modes and two to adjust the levels up and down. Now that's gonna again make it very user friendly, but it's also going to be a very low profile and sleek device with a screen on the front so you can see what mode you're in at all times. And what I really like about this is that you don't have to do any modification in order to get this installed inside your JK. It is completely plug and play in the device itself, comes with 3M automotive grade tape, uh, so you can ensure that it's not going anywhere once it's mounted up inside your Jeep. Uh, now with all that being said, like I mentioned before, this is going to be very affordable at roughly $125 uh, for the whole kit. Now in comparison to some other options on the page, usually they're gonna range from about 150 up to $300. And some of those will just come with different features. There may be options that are a little bit more expensive that will come with Bluetooth compatibility. They may come with a couple more modes or they're gonna come with a smaller device or dial um, where you can actually really fine tune it. Now, my personal opinion, I think if you're not looking for all of those extra bells and whistles, but you are looking to fine tune your throttle response with a very user friendly and sleek device like this, then this is going to be a great choice to take a look into. Now, one more thing, I would like to mention that this is not going to be a tuner. This is not going to modify any parameters inside your ECU. So you're not gonna get any horsepower or torque gains out of this. This is strictly going to focus on throttle response. So if that is the case, and if that's what you're looking for, again, this is gonna be a great choice. Install is going to be very easy as well, like I mentioned before, at a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, taking you no longer than 15 minutes to get this thing installed. So speaking of that install, let me walk you through that right now. So this install is gonna be a little bit difficult to see, so I did wanna do a little explanation on what's gonna happen before we actually go ahead and install our throttle controller. So this is going to be our main control unit. So this is going to plug into our main wiring harness and then into our device on the other side. And we're gonna drop this below our steering wheel and plug it into our main harness before we plug our harness into our wiring harness from the factory. Now this harness is going to be a split harness this side with the red locking tab is going to attach to the top of the gas pedal. And then the other side is going to attach to uh, the wiring harness from the factory. Now again, it's going to be difficult to see because it is up inside the footwell. But if you follow the gas pedal all the way to the top, you will find the harness. So first step, we're gonna take our control box. It's gonna plug into our harness and drop this down behind the steering wheel. So once you get it through, you can reach up underneath the dash and pull the control box all the way to the bottom. Then what we can do is take our main plug and plug that in to the control box. Now we can head underneath towards the gas pedal and plug in our main wiring harness. So if you follow your gas pedal all the way up, you'll find a plug. We're just going to unplug that. Then what we can do is take our main control harness, plug the mail connector, 
into the back of the harness. Then we can take the other side of the harness, attach that to the top of our gas pedal, set that red locking tab, and then we're all set to go. So once you're all set with the bottom plug, what we can do is plug in our device. Now I have the wire right here. It's gonna be a little lightning cable. We can just plug it in on the side. Then we can peel the backing of the 3M tape. And you can place this wherever you like. I'm just gonna place it where it's easily accessible, right next to the steering wheel. Give it a good press. And then last but not least, the kit does include a couple of zip ties. You wanna make sure that this wire is zipped up and out of the way and the wires underneath are zipped up out of the way as well. You don't want anything interfering with your brake or your gas pedal, but once that is all done, then you're all set to use your throttle controller. So once the Jeep is turned on, your throttle controller will turn on as well. It should illuminate with green letters in this first setting, and this is gonna be your normal setting or your stock setting. So if you want to change that, you can press mode on the side that's gonna put us in P1. Now this is your comfort setting. This is the balance between sport and economy. And again, you can go up as well as down with the two buttons on the side to fine tune it. Now if you hit the mode again, you're gonna be put into P2. This is going to be your sport mode. P3 is your race mode. And again, you are able to modify this and fine tune it. And then last but not least, you have EC, which is your economy mode, and then you'll be able to adjust this as well. Now, if you hit the button one more time for mode, it will reset everything back to stock um, and all of your stock settings. That's gonna wrap it up for my review and install. Make sure you like and subscribe, and for more videos and products like this, always keep it right here at extremeterrain.com.